Okay. So I'm back now, and um, I've laid down all of the locks that I had. Um, and just so you can see, they're just laying one on top of the next. I didn't put anything in between. I've had people suggest putting a narrow strip of bubble wrap between, so you don't have to worry about felting. But I find that like if this starts to felt to the fuzzy bit, after a while, if you just go through and lift them all up, it usually is just fine. And I don't have a problem with that. But again, like I've said before, I'm not a super particular um, fussy person. So I kind of just make it up as I go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and lay one more layer of wool. Just very gently, like thin across the top of these locks. Just probably um, could get away without it, but... I would just hate to get to the end and the top lock start falling off. So let me just get this real quick. And then I'll show you my next step. I've uh, I set this up so that the phone is actually sitting on top of a chair on my table here. So. Not too far down the lock, just so it's definitely covering the cut end and into the center. Alright, I think that's going to be good enough. So now I'm going to move all of the wool out of the way here. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is wet it down. And I bought this sprayer, I guess at Walmart, probably five or ten bucks. And I have it full of hot water. Um, and I'm just going to spray this down really well. And I do this all on my dining room table. And sometimes I end up with a mess, but... You'll see the wool just compressed right under the water. I like the sprayer because I feel like the wool doesn't move as much under it as it does if you're just, you know, pouring it on top. And I don't have a, a net. Some people will use like a net, a screen curtain or something to keep their wool in place. I don't have anything like that. I use a lot of water. And there's no reason to get the wool really wet beyond the edge of the bubble wrap that I put it on originally. Um, these locks aren't really going to do anything at all. Lots of water. Sorry, that took a long time. If I can figure out how to speed that up or cut it out, I'll try and speed this up for you. I still have some more underneath this chair that I need to spray. So, um, after your wool is nice and wet, 
I like to put um, soap on it. I consider this washing it as it's about to and wiggling everything around here. Um, it washes it as it felt it. And I rinse it a lot anyway, so I like to use some uh, dish detergent in my felting process. Okay, I think that's probably good. The water is puddling a little bit on the top and it's pretty well compressed. I use a lot of water. I can feel some of the water dripping through the cracks onto the floor. Oh, no, no, baby. My daughter's trying to help. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a bit of dish liquid on here. see this. I need it. Give it to Mama. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to take a, a second bubble wrap with the bubble side down and put it down kind of carefully because even though the fibers are wet, since they haven't started felting, they will shift. I don't really want that. Okay. No, no, no. Don't touch, baby. Not yet. After it gets felted, my kids like to help. So I start by just patting it into place, um, just to get the fibers all, all locked down together. When I felt, I will um, do this edge more than the other. I do Put that down. Okay, so now that these are not sliding, you can feel under my hands that they're not sliding anymore. This side, I didn't put this bubble wrap down evenly, so it doesn't reach that end. I have water dripping onto my floor. Very old wood floors, nothing can hurt them. Okay, I'm just going to slide this down because I didn't cover the end of the scarf. Okay. And I didn't measure this and I didn't do, nothing about this project is precise. I don't generally care. So I'm going to put a little water on top just so my hands will slide. I'm in the soap. Thank you. Put a little soap on my hands. Take it away from the baby. Alright, so I just put a dab of soap on my hands so they'll be slippery. And I start out by just rubbing very gently all over. And you can feel the, um, the wool when it starts to felt down. This edge shouldn't be much work to felt down at all because I put a very narrow fiber. But I can already feel it compressing. She really likes to help. Okay, so I would just start really gently. And then as the fiber compresses, um, you rub a little harder and a little a harder. Um, this edge, I would, I will rub a lot more than the other. I really hope my whole body isn't in this picture. I have no face, but I got a body. Um, so this is what I would do. I'm just going to rub probably for five or maybe ten minutes, just rubbing, getting all of the fiber. Um, locked down and then after that I will uh, roll it and I'll come back when I'm ready to start rolling.